And we're back! And I have control of the mouse and keyboard, and I'm gonna make sure that all my beautiful creations get displayed before Mark runs them into the barrel of a fucking gun. <laughs> so, first off, we have, and him and the last guy are the only two that are more or less different, but that's because they're special. So we have Lard Bucket 12 piece, the uh, fucking neckbeard American. I don't know what, what that flag is, but fuck it, we're calling him American. Then we have Habanario Where's My Kiwi, uh, and Fuck Police. <laughs> God damn it. And Horeen Scurry, Chug Nugget Scrub Lord. Queen Bitchicus, Eagle Gun Shootums, July Zoo, Wabosmi Bidable, who was supposed to be named Wasabi Diablo, but whoops, you one stupid shoe, Douchey McName Guy, and lastly, Babatunde Mawakizi who is the squad leader, you can tell from his golden hairstyle and his golden armor. I'm the only one who didn't get a name change. Dude, I don't think I could come up with anything better than Babatunde Mawakizi, except what Bosmi Bidab... Bidablo? Bidablo? Bidable. Bidable. Although Lord Bucket 12 piece is pretty good. So, with that said, I transfer the reins over to you. Now I need to remember what the fuck I was doing. <laughs> I spent like, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes making characters. And building stuff. Are those all the troops you get for the whole game? Uh, no, you can hire more people. You don't say. Hmm. Yeah. Well, you might just have to rename more people then later on. God, and I have no fucking scientists, so everything takes forever. Maybe you should have gone to Japan and gotten the fucking scientists. They could help you build a mech. I don't get those yet. Uh, maybe if you had more Japanese scientists, maybe they'll just make you some, like, sex robots. Um, I could do Arc Thrower, but that doesn't really help me. Just do. I expected materials. that would be a priority research task. If you Commander, throw something, is I'll it possible to not make it work? The project immediately. <laughs> Don't give me that fucking look. Anyway. Uh. Oh yeah, and then you get random like requests from countries for things. Maybe because Argentina is fucked right now. But it takes 20 days to build a satellite. So by the time I actually build the satellite, I won't have it to give them. So I just kind of have to ignore their request. Oh. Ah, my glasses. It, does, it doesn't really hurt you if you ignore... My glasses! Our yeah, current satellite uplink days. facilities are at full capacity. Wow. That's rough. We should build yeah. additional uplinks as soon Satellites as are for new satellite really... Deployment. Can you already give Japan a satellite, though? Well, I had one. Like, they give you one free one that you can... Uh oh Well, I didn't give it to them. I put it up. Wait, so is this... So this is the alien containment building. Alien containment facility online. Yeah, you guys have a shit ton of funding if you can just build rooms like that. Uh, I don't know the value of these credits. Enough that you can get another fucking plane and help out the world more. Well, it takes. Yeah. Also, why isn't the world just helping you out? Online. If you're f defending them from aliens. Because they're fucking scumbags. Yeah. Um. Aren't you just. Waiting for the next. Yeah. Basically waiting for the next one. Commander, we're tracking several reported abductions via the Hologlobe. I've got the coordinates locked in. So... 
Ooh. And I can get a new recruit. Let's go to Miami. Actually, let's not go to Miami. I don't want to have to make another character name. And So, I don't know if that's going to increase panic there. Because basically, it'll increase panic in, like, specific countries. Ah, who gives a shit? Go to Paris. I think South America and America are different. I don't want to do Paris because... Oh, go to India. Yeah. Yeah. Because I get four engineers. Mission difficulty difficult? Yeah, so I think some of them... So depending on the panic level of the countries and the countries surround near those countries affects the difficulty. That makes no sense, but okay. Because I think the panic is, like, how invaded it is currently. Oh. So India's going to be more difficult, but... Early on, difficulty doesn't really mean shit. <laughs> Yay, Corporal 12. They're so pink! I love it! Um, Squatty police? I think... I kind of want to get... Eh, whatever. I'll, I'm just going to have a rookie on this mission. Scurry. Where's McKeewee? Because what was a was a was a key bee was a bee key wasn't able to make it on this mission. So where's McKeewee has to go instead? Touching down. What was her first name? Habaneria. The area of engagement for this mission will be in India. It's not India. That looks like a developed country. Ooh. Uh, probably should have helped out North America. Ah, fuck North cause... America. What have we ever done for us? Because South America is probably going to become more panicked. Alright, some of these people don't speak English. in that building. So I want my sniper somewhere that can get squad site. Oh, I didn't see the black one. <laughs> didn't see 12 piece. <laughs> Heading to that location. Lard bucket 12 piece. Jeez. You couldn't see the person named the lard piece. <laughs> you mean Lord Bucket? Lord Bucket, whatever the fuck. Cool. Yeah, so squad sight can fucking shoot him from this far away. Huge chance to hit. Whoa, how'd your sniper get so much better? Because that's the power of the squad sight perk. So every every time they rank up, you can choose one of two perks for them. Uh -huh. And I got squad sight, which means if I have vision on the alien and they're kind of within line of sight, they can shoot them almost no matter how far away they are. Oh. You mean like a fucking sniper? I'm yeah. On it, Commander. They can do so their as, job. As long as they have spotters, they can just fucking shoot for eternity. They get ridiculous range. Yeah, like, snipers become some of the most ridiculous like combat units in the game. Oh yeah, they also just jump through windows like fucking stun. <laughs> like the windows were made of stun glass? Yeah. In instead of... God, it looks like a bank, like a fucking bulletproof glass? That door yeah, is gone. Snipers, snipers get really fucking good. Holy shit. The door just exploded off. What's the point of kicking <laughs> down the door? Yeah. Well, Lord Bucket, could you get any more neckbeardy that you had to prove your machismo by, by kicking down the one door that was there? And then missing. On the move. Oh, 
дрогнули! Вперед! Достал, гаденыш! Ooh, is that your sniper? No, my sniper's over here. Oh. See, this is why I keep forgetting that, like, people are snipers. Because when I put a sniper somewhere, they never have to fucking move. What the hell is that? Her arm was not on the end of the thing. Huh. Sorry, but you're not gonna be able to get. Can you get it with someone else? No, it's all too far away, and my one assault is not here. Huh. Oh wait, it was Wabaziki Kabudunte? Was that? Yeah. It was the assault you got injured? Baba 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 Tunde. Double time. Hakuna Matata. Wow, you heard them? Just from like way over there. I guess maybe you could see them. Wow, Lord Bucket. Oh, wow, he actually did it. Holy shit. Do you end up getting like explosive charges that you can put on the walls to make shortcuts? No. Oh, that's really, really lame actually. Like I could throw a grenade and just blow, blow the wall open and make a shortcut. Oh. Yep, that's not English. So that's why you should be always careful about dashing. On the move. Fuck the window. Fuck your window. Disabled. Huh. So many people are already getting way better. Yeah. Poor Baba... Ba Baba Doom Day. Poor Macarena. I'm under fire. You're not under it. You're slightly to the right of it. On the moon. <laughs> Large bucket just has not moved. Damn it, sniper not in range. Sniper has no vision. Why is he just why are you just keeping him there in that corner? Well he hasn't moved from last turn. That or I overwatched him. Safety. Wow, your people are actually able to hit now. Well, not Lard Bucket. He destroyed that soldier's cover. Oh, she did? Yeah. Oh. She's really close to getting fucked. Yeah, so well, Lord Bucket has to reload. Wow, Lord Bucket, you're just completely useless. You're just not undercover. You're behind something, but it's not really cover. My sniper was doing so good.
<laughs> Strike a pose. If you're gonna go out, you better go out in style. Ah, oh, she's not sure. Sure. oh, they're dead. Oh, they're mega dead. Well, there goes the rookie. <laughs> Wait, which rookie was that? Was that Corrine? Successful operation. Who died though? I want to know the name. I want to know how much work I put into them. Probably enough work to warrant me being really disappointed in you. I'm really fucking disappointed in you. Horine's it was Horeen! I put some moderate work into her. What the fuck, man? She was from, like, the Netherlands or some shit. No, wait. She was from, like, Sweden or some shit. It was the blue one with the white X. Corporal fuck police. Boy, I can't wait for nicknames. <gasps> wait, medals? Yeah, we got another type of medal. <gasps> ah! We will be in touch, Commander. Okay, so the panic in South America didn't go up. Panic's going up across the board, though. I don't know how you're yeah. gonna, or, or I don't know how you're supposed to deal with all that. Um, when you do certain things in like the main storyline, there are some events that decrease panic worldwide. Hmm. The but new I engineers just... arrived this morning, Commander. We're yeah, always we'll glad to have more help down here. So yeah. Also, one of the things is if you get. Like, yeah, you can put satellites up in countries to reduce panic, but it also, again, lets you know when alien saucers are and you can intercept them. And, like, you can get to a point where you can just intercept every single invasion thing. Beam weapons? Yeah, so you can upgrade to laser weapons. But I have, like, no fucking scientists. Maybe you should have helped out Japan, hmm? Did you get uh, scientists from India, though? I don't know, you got engineers. Yeah, I'm gonna get scientists uh, for the end of the month. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Yeah. So this is the Your recent results were beyond our expectations. But fuck the US, Argentina, and France, am I right? Yeah, it's... Makes likely. Yeah. So Expert you get, knowledge? You get a grade, and then you get scientists and engineers and money. Remember, we will be watching. Alright. See ya. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help. So now I got more engineers. Oh no, I can build a another satellite uplink. So I can send up two additional satellites. Mm. And one thing is you want to build rooms adjacent to other rooms of the same like kind of ability because yeah. you get adjacency bonuses. Oh. So I get another satellite uplink for building one next to this one. And does that mean that that one next to it also gets the uh, adjacent? No. Oh. So That's now we'll be able to put up three satellites. And the one thing I I did really poorly the last time, I'm just gonna build two. Because those are expensive as hell. The one thing I was really bad about last time was I didn't put satellites in all the... In all the what? I didn't put sa as many satellites up as I could have. Oh. Okay, so I think I think you do get... Rookies do get on the memorial, just the rookies they give you during base defense still. Oh, okay. Because you just get rookies for base defense. Um... 
Commander, we've got another contact. The signature is a little bigger this time. Shoot it. Out of the fucking sky. How can those things survive... Oh, Fangs out. How can those things survive a crash landing? Those are fucking me out. Oh, you are getting shit the bag. Oh! Got it. I don't know how one tiny little interceptor took out a giant fucking UFO. <laughs> yeah. Later on, some of those UFOs get really fucking big. Yeah! Baba, Baba Kunde! Where's Makiwi and Ma Mawaziki? Or Mawakizi? Uh, here, I'll just do this just for you, because like, the person here is the squad leader. Yes! Just was it twelve piece? I'm just giving the scope. I'm giving the scope for a shotgun. <laughs> yeah, we know it could be useful. And I guess we'll go on this mission in the next episode. Yep. All right. <laughs>